Oh. I'm still here someplace. How do you figure that? Do you mean Kelly? What are you talking about? Of course she's here. What better place? What better place to hide her than 12 miles out at sea? Who'd look for her here? Well, then get out your gun and arrest everybody. Is that you? Yes. Don't be afraid. You've got to find a way to get out of sea. They find us here. I've come up with one or two ideas, but uh, I want to make sure before we try anything. Let's do it. That was such a close call before. I'm sure you were going to find us. We were lucky, but that district attorney is smart. It's only a matter of time before he follows someone out here, and then what? Well, I know where we can go. My, my father has a summer place in Vancouver. It's beautiful there. It's very remote. I was thinking of Mexico myself. We could go by boat. We don't have to go back to shore at all. Quiet. I thought I heard something. Let's hide. Lo and behold, the great Wizard of Oz. Look. Looks like uh, we're the victims of a bad joke. Oh, wait. That's not the worst of it. Pearl took off with a boat. We're stranded out here. You, Mr. District Attorney, have been had. No, I thought you managed to sound a lot like Kelly. Just that I could never do Jeffrey's accent in a million years. Well, thank God for Pearl. I'd love to see their faces when they see that tape recorder. Yeah, I hope they appreciate all the trouble we went to. We'll be able to hear them screaming all the way to the mainland, I think. You know, maybe we got to leave them out there for a couple weeks. Oh, no, I'll send somebody to pick them up tonight. You don't think anything could go wrong, do you? I wouldn't worry about that. I think once Keith took the bait, that plan was about as foolproof as a plan can get. Well, that still doesn't mean that we're going to get to Kelly before someone else does, so can you please hurry? Kelly, are you here? Jeffrey? Doesn't seem to be anybody around here. <sighs> They've gone. Well, you were right, and they never were here. Now, wait a second. We may have something here. Let's not give this up yet. Well, what do we do? We've searched the place. Top to bottom. We're not going to lose her because we're not going to stop looking until we find her, okay? But for now, I'll get the car and take you home. I guess it's safe enough. So to make sure. I brought the car around if you're ready. Oh my god. Baby home. Where have you been? Where have you been? Everywhere. You're trying to find you guys. Where have you Good to see you again. Look at you. You look so beautiful. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't believe I'm back. And I'm with you. I have been dreaming about this every night, even. Is there any chance that you guys will follow? I don't think so. We were very careful. Yeah, well, so have we, but that Timmons guy seems to be everywhere. No, this time we know exactly where Keith is and Gina, too. Yeah, we took care of the both of them uh, for the time being, at least, huh, partner? Great. Nice outfit. Yeah, that, but, no, I feel like a hobo. That is, since we've been back to the States, we've been living in a moving van, in the museum, in the stable. I mean, always one step ahead of disaster, though. We made it somehow. Jeffrey, I want to thank you for what you've done for me. No kidding. Oh, well, she's the one that got us out of most of our scrapes. I've really just been along for the ride, like a loyal <laughs> chauffeur should, you know? Yeah, oh, right. If it hadn't been for you, I wouldn't have made it. I mean, he's been very brave. <sighs> Stubborn, but brave. Hey. <laughs> well, wait, I want, I want to hear about this. Tell me, what's about the moving van? Oh, there's so much, I don't know where to start. I just, <laughs> there's a lot I want to hear, too. I mean, is there another reason to celebrate, besides me being here? Yeah? <laughs> yeah, I knew yeah. it. The flowers I sent worked. I knew it. <laughs> well, I think maybe they had a little bit of an effect. I think they got us thinking a little bit. We're going to have all kinds of times to uh, catch up later. Right now, I think we should use this grace period wisely and come up with some decent way of getting the two of you out of town and out of the country again. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. I have to see the family first, Cruz. Well, that's just not possible right now. They're being watched. Well, Eden slipped through. With great difficulty. By the time Keith gets off that rig, he's going to be out of his mind. It'll be all we can do to get you out of here safely by then. 
Yeah, I, I agree. You know, we've been bloody lucky up until now, but I don't think there's any point in pushing it. Oh, wait a second. It'd be a shame if Kelly couldn't even just see Mama or Daddy wait, wait, or... Excuse well, me, but isn't the point here to be keeping Kelly out of jail? Exactly. Uh, I'm going to see them. Look, isn't there just somewhere? Maybe we can we can sneak everybody up here one by one while Keith's out of the picture. Every member of your family has a tail on him, with or without Keith in the picture. Well, then how about if we try to get Kelly in the house? You know he's got his people covering every square inch of the grounds. We have to find a way, Cruz. Eden, it's not worth the risk. Well, to me it is. I'm going to find a way to do it. If it's by myself, I will. Kel, I know how you feel. Well, then the... don't try and change my mind. I told Jeffrey, and I'm telling you now. I am not going anywhere until I see my family. Away from all this, but mm -hmm. Daddy wouldn't let her. He also said he couldn't get through all the stuff with her gone, so she stayed. Oh, I'm so glad. I mean, Eden and I have been living with his guilt, knowing that I was the reason for their separation. Oh, no, you should see them. I mean, they're so happy. Why will you see them? I can't wait. Now, what about Ted and Mason? What's Mason? Well, okay, Ted and Haley are living in the house, and Ted is standing up to Daddy about three times a day, no. so they're getting along better than ever. And for a while there, Dad and Mason sort of called a truce. Is it still on? No, of course not. I mean, you know, when they get close, they sort of pull apart. But, I don't know, Gina's hatefulness has sort of been a common bond for all of us, her and the stupid contract. I know that if I go back now, it'll take months until all this is over. No, no, you don't see. See, when the kidnapping plan fell through, I mean, we all got together and we tried to think of a new plan to get the tape away from Gina. One way or the other, you're going to be home in a few weeks. Well, what is it? Well, we decided what we do is we work on the weak spot of Gina, money. Oh. So we set up this embezzlement scheme. That's it. What? That's it. That's perfect. Uh, Cruz here has just come up with the most fantastic idea. The man is a genius. Now, wait, 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 tell me that again after we all get out of jail. <laughs> yeah, well, do we well, get to hear what it is? Come on. Okay. Now, you can hear, but this is so ridiculously tough to pull off. I don't know what the hell I'm doing even thinking about this. Well, tougher than what you and I did with Keith? Yeah, it's, it means the whole family would have to work together as a unit for a change, plus we'd have to get a lot of help from outside. But it's the only way I could think of to get you in there for a brief visit and then have a chance of getting you out again. I'm willing to try anything. All right, the thing is, the way we have to approach this kind of thing is if it's like it was some kind of performance. And we're all going to have parts to play. And we better play them well. And she's oh, fine. She's oh, wonderful. Oh, my God. Well, so go ahead. What's going on? Well, uh... It's, no, it's okay. Uh, well, uh, she and, and Jeffrey Conrad are at the Abernathy Stables. What? Stables. Well, with the Abernathy Stables, that's where I work. That's, like, 20 minutes from here. Uh, well. <laughs> enough time to, uh, Keith and his people to follow us, too. Well, no, no. Cruz has found a way and thought of a way that we can avoid all of that. Uh, well, go on. Well, how? Well, all of us would have to be involved in this one. Yeah, thanks. Hi. Uh, hey. Hey. You come back in through the window? Oh, I came down the chimney. Oh, guys. Good to see you. Make yourselves at home. Take a load off. Leroy. Hi, Danny. How you doing? What do you want, Keith? Oh, Cruz. I... Where have you been for the last few hours? Been around? Where you been? I don't know. You know, I've been in an oil rig in the middle of the channel. Can you imagine that? <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's so strange. What are we doing out there? I, I think I was giving you time to hook up with Kelly. You know, I really didn't like you setting me up like that. Well, we all have our pet peeves. You take a nice, easy-going guy like me. You know, it really gets my dander up sometimes when I feel like I'm being followed like a common criminal. Did you make contact with Kelly? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, maybe if we change the locale, it'll jog your memory. Cuff him. On what charge? Oh, why don't we try, gee, the same old saw, obstructing justice. <laughs> Go ahead. Make yourself up. You have a party, guys. Good luck. You can count on it. I can get you. Mm -hmm. I can get Kelly. Mm -hmm. I get a phone call. Go to it. Want to play this by the book? Who are you calling? C.C. Capwell? Close. Mason Capwell. My attorney. Hello. Yes, he's here. Yeah, hold on. Hello? Are you sure you got that message right? 
Cruz Castillo needs a lawyer. What'd you buy? Quart of milk, loaf of bread. Well, I suppose if I checked in your kitchen, I would find those items, wouldn't I? Undoubtedly. I'll do that. What then? I went to the cleaners, picked up a pair of pants, dark blue. Go ahead. Then I went to the wharf, took a short sail with Eden. To go over the rainbow to find a pie in the sky. I'll tell you what you did. You went in your bedroom, you jumped out the window, met Eden at a prearranged place in the high tail of the sea college. You meet her? No, I didn't. You wouldn't tell me if you did, would you? No, I wouldn't. You're gonna throw you in jail. You can't because you gotta prove that I did something wrong, Keith. Can you prove where you were this last few hours? I don't have to. <laughs> well, 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 well. I'll just keep you here until you tell me. Where is the Catwell girl? You mean Eden? I'm gonna hit you. Well, Keith, if the public knew how you were throwing their money around, Actually, I may just hold a press conference and tell him myself. You okay, Cruz? Never been better, Mason. If I were you, I'd advise my client to cooperate. He's in big trouble. That trouble with a capital T? What are the charges? Obstructing justice. You have evidence. I had him under surveillance. He jumped out the window and left for a few hours. I repeat, you have evidence that my client obstructed justice? He constructed an elaborate plot to lure me out to the casino while he made contact with Kelly. I repeat. Oh, come on, you're in on this too. You're not getting through with it, you know what I mean? I'm going to stop you. If you're uh, through questioning my client, Keith, I'd appreciate your releasing him. Hell, I will. I'm going to arrest him. Do I <laughs> have to remind you of the consequences of false imprisonment? If you did that with no grounds whatsoever, I'd file a civil suit against you, take you for everything you're worth, probably get you kicked out of office again. Wouldn't I like that? Get out of here, the both of you. Steele. You ever get in my way again? One way or the other, I'm going to get some proof. I'm going to lock you up. And that is a solemn promise. I heard it before. I said it before. You'll say it again. That. You want to tell me what's going on? What you heard, Eden and I went and saw Kelly. You saw her? Yeah, she's fine. But she's got this crazy idea that she's not leaving town until she sees her family again. She's adamant about it. So against my better judgment, I came up with this little plan in which you, my friend, are going to play a big part. Come on. I want to uh, go in and be with Cece now. All right, I'll... Yes, Reverend, this is Eden Capwell. I'm sorry to call you so late, but um, there's an emergency. My father is ill, and we would like it if you'd come down to the hospital. Yes, Reverend, it's a shock to us all. Are Jean and Keith buying it? It's working. <laughs> 